So one student asked me to repeat this vaccination game. I think it's actually a very interesting game. It's a popular topic like a month ago, so that's why I included this game. And it's actually happening in real life because there is always a group of people who don't want to get vaccinated for some reason. And now here's the reason. So the game I set up, when I did it in the morning again, I was confused. So I, I got this N wrong. So this N is just the total number of people who are unvaccinated. So number of people unvaccinated. Um, so then I introduced a new notation which is n minus i. Again, as I repeated in the next class, n minus i is a subscript minus i, not n minus i. So this is the number of other people, and other means other than i, who are unvaccinated. So that's a very important summary statistics. So, so to solve these type of n player game, that's the always the way. You always try to find a summary statistics that summarize the action of the other player. And usually, it is the number of other people who choose a particular action. So here is the number of people who choose the action n, basically. So if you after you decide that, then you just write write the best response function in terms of that. So. Some people ask me, can I use n minus i as the number of people who are vaccinated? Yes, of course. If you do it, you get the same answer. So no, it doesn't really matter what n minus i represent as long as you state it clearly. If you just put it there, you don't explain it. I have no idea what this is. I will make some kind of assumption and try to see if you had the best response function right. But on the exam, remember to specify what your n minus i means. It's not obvious which one you mean usually. So in any case, then the next step is always writing the best response function like this. And the best response function always look like this. So the best response is either n or v. n if, if n is better. And so this is the most obvious thing I can write. n is better. And v is if v is better. So when is n better? So when I choose n, then what I get, the payoff from this is I first, n minus 1 is the number of other people who are unvaccinated, plus me will be the, the total number of people that's unvaccinated in this economy. Then we have this. And I want this, if I get vaccinated in this case, then I pay the cost, I pay this, and n minus i stays because I get vaccinated here. This. So I have one condition here, and v, it should be other, otherwise, uh, otherwise, so otherwise, sorry, larger than or equal to this. So they are not always just reversing the sign. So sometimes you need to think about it. When is m better? When when is v better? Because sometimes there are overlaps. There is sometimes some of them is I mean no that's not possible. Some of them both of them are better at the same time. So there may be overlap. But this particular question is not the problem. But for for example in the Hunger Games video that I had, it's actually there are an intersection of of the the range of this n minus i. Actually both n and v are best responses. So don't always say solve this and then say it be otherwise because it's not always true. But anyways, in, in class I solve this. I'm not going to solve this again. But when you rearrange this, you get when n minus i is large. So so the the logical thing to think is think about is when there are a lot of people who are unvaccinated, then it's very likely to get sick. So maybe I should get vaccinated. So when n is large, that's why you don't have the smaller sign, right? So when n is small, so when there's everyone is vaccinated, then probably I don't want because I want to save the cost. So that's why when n is small, then I get this. So that's the two conditions. Um, but but yes, you should solve this inequality instead of just reasons through it because you need this number. So in any case, we have our best response function. So it's n if it's small, if v if it's large. So then the next step 
is as i said in class guess so there are only few ways to guess this so there are only two actions for each player so this is a good guess no this is not even guess because i didn't specify how many people are doing what so this is this would be a a good guess so 10 because this 10 comes from the best response function and then the next thing which is the important thing is when you after you guess you need to tell me why it is the Nash equilibrium so the check part is more important than the guess part because you don't know if you guess it wrong if you don't check this so for these people what's happening is n minus i is equal to 9 right so excluding myself there are nine other people who are so this is the number of other people so except me there are nine other people and then i substitute this number here and then so when i substitute nine here i get what well, nine is less so best response is n so i'm choosing n best response is n so it's okay so it's consistent so this is best responding these people are symmetric so they are best responding as well and let's do it for these people. These for these people, M minus S ten because excluding me, there are still ten people who are unvaccinated. So my best response of ten is what? So ten is on both sides. So ten has this property. So both V and N are best response. So V in particular, V is one of the best responses. So choosing V is one of the best responses. That's why they are best responding as well. So everyone. All of 10, 100 people are best responding. This is a Nash. And the only exam, after you find one Nash, please stop. Don't find all the Nash because these games has a lot of Nash equilibria. Don't try to find all of them. On the exam, you will be only asked to find one of them.